Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I go about propagating my plants and why you should propagate yours too. Let's hop into it. So propagation is a word that a lot of, I'm sure, plant enthusiasts know. I mean, I know plant enthusiasts so all know what that word means, but it is something that I didn't really do at the start of like my whole plant collecting just because I was like, oh, why would you want to cut your plant up? Just let it run, let it like, you know, let it go crazy. But this is something that's made a lot of my plants look a lot better and has also been really healthy for them because you can just tell that they're thriving a bit more when you cut them back and um it's just yeah there's a lot of benefits to it um you definitely need to know when is the right time because if you go a bit crazy it can do more harm than good so i'm going to show you when to know when the right time to propagate is and the method that i use when i propagate so in this particular video i'm going to use my pothos as an example and he's not like going crazy you know he's got like this one vine that's longer than the rest um but i am going to chop him up today probably this vine and maybe even the second vine. And I know it's not, like I said, it's not going crazy and there's nothing wrong with it. Like it's not too sparse or anything like that. But when you look at the top of the pot, he's not as full as I would want him. And I just think that he's not filling out the pot the way that he could be. So what I'm going to do is, um, you can also see a little side note here, on this particular vine, he, it's a lot longer of a space in between the leaves than it was in the past. So that just kind of shows that he had a bit of a struggle with this growth right here. So I'm going to probably cut it back a couple nodes um, and take off some leaves and get him into some water to propagate so I can fill out the pot and so he can start growing at a more consistent length. So when you cut um, for propagations, you want to cut in between the nodes because you need nodes in order to get roots. And nodes are gonna be this part right here where you can see there's a little nub coming out and that's an aerial root. So you want to keep that because that's where your roots are gonna grow from. So when I cut, I'm going to probably cut right above this and then right below this and get several cuttings from this one vine. And I'll show you that real quick. So I have my scissors right here and get some actual like shears, don't use craft scissors like me. But I'm going to cut right here below this node and then that's that. This one I'm going to cut about the same length right here. And then we're gonna cut those up further. So now I'm gonna put him in a sunny spot so those nodes can regrow some leaves and he can have some new growth. So for this first cutting, you can see there are actually, um, there's like four and maybe a half node right here. Um, I can't quite tell, but I know people out there more experienced than me probably would be able to tell and be like, oh my gosh, what is she talking about? So I'm going to cut each node so then each one of these leaves basically becomes their own little propagation. So then that's going to be right here, right here, and then I'm going to leave this one as is just because, actually no, I'm going to cut right there as well because I know that one's a node. So then this one is the newest leaf and he's got his little growth point right there and then there is the node. And that is what we want to submerge in the water is basically this bit down to the bottom. And that's the same with the old leaves as well. I'll show you this one. So we've got the leaf and then we've got the node right there connected to the stem. And that right there is what you want in the water. So I'm going to trim up the stem a bit to get it a bit closer to the node because I don't want that much. Um, I know you're not supposed to, you want a little bit of stem on there just so he has something, but I'm going to just trim away the excess so it's easier to put into water and then it's easier to plant afterwards. So then after you get him cut and you have the piece that you want, you're going to just stick him in a vase with some water. And this one obviously doesn't have enough water yet just because I haven't filled him up, but you're just gonna stick him straight in Put him in a sunny spot and leave him and i found that i have several vases that work a bit better this kind of darker one being good because what you want to do for like optimal propagation i guess if you want to call it that 
is you want the roots to be in a dark place because roots when they grow they're under the ground right so they're not used to seeing sun and if they're exposed to too much sun they can burn and then you won't get a well-rooted propagation so um keep it in like a an opaque vase would be fantastic but a darker colored vase would be great and i put some of mine that are in clear like milk bottles i put them into cash pots so they actually don't have as much light reflecting in on them um, that being said, I haven't really had any issues with clear bottles in direct sunlight even. Um, so you're probably fine. It's just better to be safe than sorry. And I found that roots grow quicker when it is darker. So I'm going to chop up the rest of this cutting. Okay, so just like that, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cuttings that are growing in this little propagation base now. And when these root, I'm going to be putting them directly into the pot with the other uh, fill philodendron it's a pothos i'm gonna be putting it in with the rest of the pothos that i have and i will show you actually i've had some cuttings that have been growing in some water for a while and i'll show you just the different the different types of plants root differently um for pothos and philodendron you need a node and for most plants you need a node um, i'm going to show you some examples of ones that you don't though and you can grow a whole new plant from just one leaf even so let's get those so first of all, these are my satin pothos or skindopsis. I don't it's like Argius or something like that. Um, these are a bunch of cuttings from that. I took them when my plant was really struggling and um, this basically saved it because I was growing a ton of these cuttings and then I was able to make an entirely new plant from it. And now my plant is thriving. So as you can see in the vase, we have lots of roots going on here and they need to be potted. I just have like the look of them in my vase instead of in a pot. So I haven't gone, got, like, gotten around to doing that yet. But honestly, cuttings can be potted when roots are like that long. They don't really need to be that long, but when you do pot them, you need to make sure that the soil is like decently wet because then the shock from you know water to soil isn't gonna be as drastic. Um, there, I know peperomias, you can grow an entirely new plant from a single leaf and I have two in water right now. One of, oh my gosh, there's roots on one of them that was not there the other day when I checked. So that's actually really exciting. So I have a watermelon peperomia that's been struggling a bit just with acclimating to the new environment, but, um, he had this leaf and it was yellowing around the sides. So I was like, oh, let me just cut it before it's like unhealthy. And then maybe I can get a new plant out of it. Who knows? So I cut it. There's no node, as you can see, it's just the stem. And right there, there are some baby roots sticking out. So it's liking its water environment now. The leaf is still like obviously extremely curled, but that is fine. We'll get it back to normal. And then I actually picked up a plant for a friend not too long ago. And one of the leaves fell off in the car. So, I mean, the plant was super full, so it wasn't like, you know, I was like taking anything, but it was, see these leaves, or these roots are very delicate. So I just want to make sure that I'm not breaking anything. So it was a Peperomia Rosco, Rosso, something like that. Anyways, it's got this green front exterior part of the leaf and this red underside. Um, and it has finally from just a single leaf it has all these great roots on it and I actually need to repot this soon um, I actually have a little tiny like two inch pot that I could repot it in but it finally has all these new roots and it's super exciting because it's just like a random leaf that fell off a plant so it's not like particularly healthy but it still is doing amazing and actually there's a little tiny new like shoot with like some new growth on it there's that little green stem right in the middle that's a different color completely than the roots and that's going to eventually grow like completely new leaves and just like a whole new plant. And the same thing will happen with that watermelon peperomia as well. So it's super fun. And for both of these cuttings, I have them in another vase. Um, this one's a bit more clear so they don't grow roots as quickly as like my dark red orange one. Um, but it's just balancing. I have them both kind of balancing inside the like neck of the vase um so they can grow quite well and i changed the water out this is actually important i don't know why i didn't mention this earlier i change the water out on my propagations at least once a week um sometimes obviously you forget and then i skip a week but at least once a week i change this water out because it just can get really stagnant and gross and you want just fresh water to stay in there um i'm gonna show you a couple plants that i've put cuttings into the pot to fill it out 
So my most recent one is my silver stripe philodendron. As, as you can see, it's very full and lush on this side and it's doing fantastic. It actually gave me one of my new favorite leaves on this side just the other day with that beautiful like little silver stripe. Um, but there's like nothing happening on this side and there was like a tiny little shoot on here, but it started throwing out some neon philodendron like colored leaves and nothing else. So I trimmed that back to get the right variegation going again. And um, as you can see down here, there is a tiny bit of new growth happening. There's a new shoot being thrown out right there. So that will fill out that side. And then on the back here is where I planted this brand new cutting that had some decently long leaves. There's no shoot coming out yet um, because it was so close to the bottom of the stem that there was new growth. So it will probably peek through the soil in another like month or so, but that way it just has more growth on this side. And once this gets longer too on this side, I'll probably propagate it again and just fill out the pot even more um, just to get it, you know, more even because there's no amount of sunlight can take, you know, all of this and get it over here. Um, so that's why we, that's why we propagate. And then another one that I propagated recently, actually I propagated it right when I got it, is my Mykins. And as you can see, there's a brand new leaf here. Um, but I got this like, I don't know, a month ago maybe now. Um, and straight away I cut this vine and I cut this vine. And then there was one other vine that I cut like from the back, but those were the two main ones that I trimmed. And as you can see, there's already new growth happening right there. There's actually two new leaves right there. There's a new growth right here, finally put out its new leaf. And then even down here, there's a new shoot coming in. And so it's just, it's fantastic. It's doing great. And then I put in actually two of the cuttings that I took, I put into the back over here and there's actually new growth shooting out right on this leaf. It's coming in a bit wonky, so I might have to try to save it, but I always kill it whenever I try to get one of those wonky leaves out of there. Um, but that way you can just fill out the pot because you see it's like very empty over here and you just need it to fill out a bit more, you know? So that is my two cents on propagating. You just need to trim a plant back, find the nodes. If it has nodes, if it's peperomia, go to town, take off leaves, whatever. Um, but I hope you found this helpful and I hope that you can see the good in propagating. I know like I said, it really tears me apart sometimes to propagate some of these plants, but it really just, they grow back even quicker and it's just really fun. And actually, once you start doing it, it's kind of hard to stop. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please give it a like and leave a comment of what your thoughts were down below. And thanks for watching guys. I'll see you later.